Hello, this is Mighty Owl. We compare numbers all the time. Like which snack costs less? Or who got the higher score in a game? Or who has more toys in their collection? Who's the youngest sibling? There are so many different reasons we might want to compare numbers. But today, we're going to take a trip to the arcade and check out some game scores. Take a look. Sue and Eric are bowling. Sue scored 187 and Eric scored 235. If the person with the highest score is the winner, who won? Is Sue's score greater than or less than Eric's score? Let's use our place value charts again to find out. Okay, Sue scored 187. And this means that there is a 1 in the hundreds place, an 8 in the tens place, and a 7 in the ones place. Eric scored 235. This means there's a 2 in the hundreds place, a 3 in the tens place, and a 5 in the ones place. When you're comparing numbers, always start with the largest place value first. The hundreds place is bigger than the tens place or the ones place, so we're going to start there. Another way to remember this is the largest place value is always the digit furthest to the left. Okay, so Sue's score has a 1 in the hundreds place and Eric's score has a 2 in the hundreds place. 1 is less than 2, so Sue's score is less than Eric's score. And Eric is the winner. Congrats, Eric! And we can show their scores with a less than symbol. We know this is the less than symbol because the smaller number is on the left. When you are using the less than and greater than signs, the sign always opens to the greater number. Think about it like a big hungry alligator that always wants to eat the bigger number. And so it opens its jaws up really wide and, hey, watch out! Now that we saved that big number, back to the arcade. Now let's see what other mighty games there are. Hey look! Jenny and Will are playing a game where you whack little gophers that come out of the game board. Ooh, they're really good at this. Now let's see their scores. Jenny scored 467 and Will scored 459. Is Jenny's score greater than or less than Will's score? Well, you know what to do. Let's put them in the place value chart. Jenny scored 467. So that means there's a 4 in the hundreds place, a 6 in the tens place, and a 7 in the ones place. And Will scored 459. So there's a 4 in the hundreds place, a 5 in the tens place, and a 9 in the ones place. Awesome. That's all ready. Now let's look at the hundreds place and figure out who won. Jenny has a 4 in the hundreds place and... Wait, so does Will. They both have fours in the hundreds place. When the digits in the largest place value are the same, you have to look at the digits in the next place value spot to the right. So we need to look at the tens place next. Jenny has a six in the tens place and Will has a five in the tens place. Six is bigger than five, so this means that 467 is greater than 459. And we can show this with a greater than symbol. We know this is the greater than symbol because it always opens up to the bigger number and in this problem, the bigger number is on the left. Great work! This one was a bit more tricky since we had to look at two different place value spots. But you still figured it out. And you know that Jenny won that game. It was pretty close though. Better luck next time, Will. Ew, look at this game. It looks like Jenny and Chen are playing a really cool game. This is the one where you roll a ball up a ramp and try to get it in holes worth different amount of points. Now let's take a look at their scores. Wow, those look like some very high scores. Now is Jenny's score greater than or less than Chen's score? To find out, let's put them in the place value chart. Jenny's score has a 6 in the hundreds place, a 3 in the tens place, and a 9 in the ones place. Chen's score has a 6 in the hundreds place, a 3 in the tens place, and a 9 in the ones place. And you know what comes first, we're going to look at the hundreds place. 
Okay, Jenny's score has a six in the hundreds place, and so does Chen's. Okay, on to the tens place then. Jenny's score has a three in the tens place, and Chen's score also has a three in the tens place, so we're gonna have to look at the ones place now. Jenny's score has a nine in the ones place. Huh? Chen's score has a nine in the ones place as well. All the digits are the same, and that means those numbers are the same. Neither one is greater than or less than the other. Jenny's score and Chen's score are equal. You can show this with an equal sign. 639 is, after all, equal to 639. Ooh, great work today. You compared numbers by first comparing the digit furthest to the left, which for us was in the hundreds place. Then, if the digit was the same in the hundreds place, you compared the digit in the tens place and then moved over to the ones place. Finally, you used the less than, greater than, and equal signs to compare the numbers. See you soon!